<laughs> She's like, I'ma call Cap on that. Ain't no way that grandma's dying. <laughs> that grandma fine. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with more of Bochi the Rock. That's right, we're currently on episode seven. So let's get straight into it. But hey, before we get started, you know the vibes. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm guads. Also, check us out over on Patreon for $5 a month to get early access to reactions, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut for here on the channel. And check us out live over on Twitch. I stream every single day. Anyways, let's get it. Oh, they're going to her house? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, is her being nervous to have friends over at her house? She's not waiting by the front door, is she? How long has she been standing there for? <gasps> she has a party popper! Oh, it's probably the first time she's ever had a friend come over to her house! <gasps> but? Why did she come? <laughs> that is crazy. Like she's like, yeah, her grandma took her her health took a turn for the worse. And she's like, what the hell? Her is she okay? And she's like, oh no no no, this happened ten times this year. She's good. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna call cap on that. Ain't no way that grandma's dying. <laughs> that grandma fine. <laughs> the grandma's thriving right now. <laughs> it just cuts to her just listening to CDs inside of a shop. That's so cute. <laughs> just listening to records and chilling and CDs and shit. Yep, <laughs> she was vibing by herself. That is heck of a low bar, though, yeah? <laughs> Girl, these excuses are rather extreme! <laughs> Holy shit, man! We could use a lot lighthearted excuses. We do not need to be busting out the heavy hitters. That's wild! <laughs> All I can think about is like, all I can think about is what you would call it, like the boy who cried wolf. So it's like you know, like what if something bad actually happens and no one really believes it? <laughs> it would be kind of funny if someone else came through the door and she popped the party pipe popper because she's excited, and it was for the wrong people. I hope it's the right people. Huh? Yeah! It is a normal house. She just plays in a small ass closet. <laughs> Oh my god! She is the cutest girl in the entire world! Look at my little nervous bead! Look how excited! <laughs> she got a little mustache! She got party glasses with LEDs and shit changing color! She got a party popper! She got a party hat! She got a sash! Sergeant for a day! Oh my god, she's thriving! My girl's out here dripped out of her mind! I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. No, they can all be like shocked into silence, but she's never had friends over. This is so exciting. That is, she just wants to make, the, oh, my baby. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Please be excited with her. Otherwise she's gonna feel insecure and panic. Oh, I 
I'm glad your bombed soul is soothed. Oh, there's like a little switch on the glasses to turn off the lights. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm one of those people who always matches energy. So if I walk into a room and everyone's excited, even if I don't know what the fuck is going on, I just go, yay! What's happening? <laughs> Every time, without fail. I can't help it. My brain just goes that way. So if I saw someone go, yeah! I'd be like, yeah! What's happening? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm also one of those people when there's a restaurant and they're, when you're at a restaurant and they're singing happy birthday to a different table, I'm like, yeah! And I start singing happy birthday, clapping along and stuff. And everyone who's always sitting with me goes, oh, Alicia. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's someone's birthday! <laughs> like, they're, like they're like, you're not even staff. The staff is singing happy birthday. I'm like, we can all sing happy birthday. Hmm? Hmm? All right. <laughs> But they're having fun hanging out. Not the mangoes. Not the mangoes. <laughs> what if we all wear track suits to match Bochi? Please, someone stop her! No! No! She was so excited! I, I, <laughs> uh, dude! She made a, like, a little party! She, a little bowl. <laughs> she even organized her snacks in the bowl and everything, even the pocky and everything, dude! This baby was so excited! <laughs> the sign is also so cute too, girl. Oh. Sealed? Uh-oh, the closet, they're gonna figure it out. Oh, no, don't get freaked out. Okay, tiny five-year-old sister. <laughs> Stop outing your sister, okay? Five-year-olds are OD, okay? They'll always just say what the heck is on their mind. They do not care about the social filter. They don't care. They'll just say the shit, bro. They'll just say, it. oh my god. Now she's like an obsessed creep. Stop it. She's just a good baby. No, Bochi. <laughs> okay, but she wasn't actually possessed, though. She was just, okay, all right, whatever. But <laughs> Douglas. Oh, don't get jealous. Please don't get jealous of the dog and the baby. No, they're not stealing your friends. You're fine. They still like you. I hope she doesn't do the comparison thing. Don't do the comparison thing. No, you're not excluded. Honey, they're literally here for you. You're not being excluded. No. Oh. Oh-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-
チちゃん私らの前ではっちゃけてたんだ。<笑>どこのアイス食べていいから<laughs> Damn That was You know what? That is one way to convince anyone Food <laughs> That is right That works <laughs> Listen if you offered me a popsicle And I was five years old To do anything I'd be like shit I bet Commit a murder Commit arson Bet I get a popsicle though Yeah <laughs> Let me know what flavor you like I liked orange as a kid and that artificial kind called blue raspberry, those are my two favorite types as a kid. Those are lit, but usually I would go for orange. Oh, also when I'm in the hospital, they give you a fuck ton of, they give you a fuck ton of popsicles. I always get the orange one there too. But sometimes they run out and they give me the grape and I'm like, grape's okay too. And I don't like the cherry ones though. Fuck the cherry ones. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to blow my nose super badly, and I was like, no, I don't want to miss this anime. So I had to, I had to just pause and stop everything. Hold <laughs> on, there we go. Also, it's crazy that she's hungry for merch more than I am. <laughs> I got more clout, and I'm less less about merch. <laughs> I need a, I'll do it someday, all right? <laughs> just, nah, give me another half a year or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ain't no way the parents said, oh, they really came. <laughs> That's so fucking savage. Jesus, come on. Come on. <laughs> they're not the imaginary kind, they're real. That's so... <laughs> Uh... <laughs> oh no, she also says vibes. My stream title right now literally says vibes. Oh my god, she's just me. <laughs> With each episode, it grows stronger. <laughs> oh, what happened to you at the sports festival? Oh. Oh! Dude, I love how creative they get in this damn show. They're using stop motion animation with little puppets. That's so freaking cool. Oh, like My Hero Academia. One for all and all for one. Shit. <laughs> they even made her own little, like, oh my god. I love, dude, this anime is so good. So, like, they just get, they just have so much creative, creativity and creative license with what they do. It's just, it's so fun. <laughs> Shit, Mel, cause it's hot. God damn it. Okay, the animation style changed again. We got really dark inked black layers too and everything. God damn. Dude, they just did so many different styles in the past like two minutes. What the hell? That's amazing. I can't believe they switched up animation styles again. Bro, bro, this anime is so fucking talented. They, they, the, the fact you can just do these fun little in-between skits to show the mental state is one of the coolest, most liberating things. 
Like, you could just go crazy with it and have fun to show different ways of anxiety and self-expression and internalized thoughts. It's so cool! I almost spat out my drink. The child being like, Look, they exist! That's the first thing she says when she opens the door. I, I just took a sip of my iced coffee and almost spat it out. That was a crazy thing to say, tiny human. <laughs> Don't say that! Oh my god! Okay, I am so happy that these girls are kind of defending are kind of defending her a little bit. They're like they're like, oh the parents are like, oh, basically like thanks for putting up with our daughter. Yo, I'm so thanks for inviting her in and shit. Like, no, no, no. I asked her to join and she wanted to. It really helped me out. What? And they're like, man, I'm surprised she has friends. Eat your fill. <laughs> like, damn, can y'all stop being so shady about it? The surprise is over. Just, damn, stop cooking her in front of her friends. <laughs> You know what though? This is really accurate to parents. I just, I realized I have these criticisms, and then I realized every fucking parent does that, man. Every parent does this. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that just makes it more realistic. Just getting cooked in front of your friends by your parents. Them being like, oh, she's not too much of a rotten bitch, is she? <laughs> As a joke. And you're like, they're like, what? <laughs> They just gotta kind of take it. They're just like, they're just, <laughs> yeah. No, I've felt this before. No, I've felt this before. Putting my pe my business out there like that. No, I felt that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh my god, stop saying that! <laughs> Okay, this is going too far. Do not tell her friends that you thought that she photoshopped them into the photo and that she has imaginary friends that were coming over that she did all this effort for. That is a crazy roast to tell your... To, come on. Even if you thought that, don't say that in front of the friends. That's like, what? come on, man. Oh, that hurts. He asked if she's from a friend rental service? What in the fuck? These parents are outrageous. <laughs> Stop cooking this girl, okay? She's already got social anxiety. Now she's gonna be too scared to bring friends home now from now on. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I am so proud of her for like taking it up and putting it back down, but then putting it back up and leaving it up for when her friends came. That's a huge deal for somebody. Like, especially if you're not used to interacting with people, being like, I'm gonna go all out, but I'm like super anxious and super scared to do it. And then leaving it as the final result, even if you kept taking it down and putting it back up. You left it there, and when they actually came, and you used a party popper. Like, you committed. Also, that's so sad. She simulated Twister with her stuffed animal to practice. <laughs> even, even the dog said it, man. They all said it, even the dog did. Did you hear that? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> to customers, yeah, she socializes somewhat. Ha <laughs> 
the random person walking by. What the fuck? Oh no, don't feel left out again. They're here to see you. They're just friendly people. That's all it is. Just come back and sit over. I don't when I was a kid, I was maybe about maybe 12 or 13. And I had a friend who was like this though. Like not 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 like not like Bochi. She was a bit different. She was a, she was an only child and she was super excited to have me over and we were hanging out. And then her parents came home and like uh I offered to like help them I offered to like help like them make make dinner and whatever, right? And they're like, "Oh my gosh, you don't need to do that." Blah, blah blah. I was like, "Oh, okay." Like I just normally like try to help out when I can, right? And then we ended up talking because they were like asking questions about me and all that kind of stuff. And while I was talking to them, this chick loses her mind. She goes into this jealous rage of like, "They're my, she's my friend," to her parents, and I'm there like. Oh, <laughs> you can talk like that to your parents is the craziest part. That's, you yelled <laughs> in front of your mama. You can do that? <laughs> what in the? <laughs> Man, I was, I learned so much in one moment. It also taught me a lot about like, like people's jealousy towards things and wanting to feel like attention and understanding that others have different levels of attention that they need. And making sure those needs are met. And, like, it taught me a lot in, like, just one moment of realizing that. Making sure that everyone always feels involved. Because she didn't feel involved in the conversation. It was just between basically me, her mom, and her dad. And since she wasn't looped into it, she got frustrated. And that made her lash out. And it's going to be really childish of her. And it's going to seem really stupid to have a tantrum over. But as an only child, she's not used to, she's not used to having to share the conversation. Or share, like, the, the sort of, like, interaction. She's used to either it being focused on her or just not happening. So that's very difficult. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, shit. She wasn't as sweet as Bochi just being quiet going uh, internally. So it's different ways to react to it. <laughs> Mmm, not good. I hope the typhoon doesn't affect them at all. I just don't know where they are located at. Oh no, that's the number one trauma again! Stop giving her trauma! God damn it. <laughs> God, just... How do we expect anything different, to be honest? What? Shut up! If that was in black, I would 100% wear it. Nah, if you gave me that exact same thing with the zippers and chains in black, 100% I would wear that. Just not red. Red clashes with me, me too much. Even in real life, it clashes with my skin too much. But oh my god. No, I love that kind of shit. Have, if you, oh, you guys can't see my pants. <laughs> but not currently, but like, 
Okay, I have like these type of pants that have like a million and one like zippers and shit on it that don't do anything. They're just there for the fashion. Okay, I love that shit. Man, I love streetwear stuff. Like, come on, that's sick. その大量のファスナーと鎖は何に使うの？ファスナーはピック入れで鎖はギターストラップになります。意外と実用的。Weirdly <笑> practical. <笑>出なさいよということでよろしいでしょうか。Wait, you never wore the clothes that your mom bought you? Yeah, dress up time. Dress up time. We're gonna see all the clothes that your mom bought you. We gotta see what you look like in them. Let's go. Dress up time. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, the guy, oh, the guy, oh, the guy. This <laughs> kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Rush your bangs back? They're gonna style her hair! Uh. Zawardo! No, Dio, no. No! <laughs> oh. She faded away. Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> Isn't that like a really classic, like, like folklore thing, of like the spirit who can't be touched, and that they fade away if they're they have in human interaction or like a ghoul or something? Do they just like bar for bar do that? <sighs> don't, don't say she's dead. Come on, man. <laughs> party people on the wall when all the lights are off. Party people, yeah. <laughs> Man, these all of these motherfuckers dramatic. God damn. Maybe y'all are just tired from eating that many carbs. Y'all eat pizza and fried chicken. Oh my god, they got affected by Bochi. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're turning into Bochi. This is so sad. Someone help my poor extroverts. They're being converted. I'm sorry for being too cute to bar. Oh, that's great. I love that. You look like you were just thinking, then why didn't you just design it from the start? <laughs> oh, she does read minds. <laughs> <laughs> she is good at it, which is good. Oh! Look at this bean holding her t shirt! Look at this bean! You bean! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I, I, I'm sorry, just, they're all so cute, and they're just little babies starting a band, and my heart is so happy, and I'm so significantly older than all of them, so they're all just babies to me. <laughs> I can't wait till I have kids someday, and they start to go into doing little activities and hobbies. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, ugh. Uh, Bochi, are you worried about hit hitting your home or something? What is it? That's a good baby! And she spoke up to tell them? And she spoke up to tell them? Oh my god. And they all accepted your idea? I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. She's taking steps, baby. Ah! No, no doomsday mentality. No doomsday mentality. It'll be okay, I think. That's a, that's a good stepping stone. That is such a good stepping stone for her. Anyways, thank you for being awesome. Thanks for watching, YouTube. For those of you guys over on the Patreon, you know what it is. Stick around. We'll talk more. For those of you guys over on YouTube, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, what's... I made the intro too outro too early. Azu, don't cut it. Azu, don't cut it. I hit it way too early. Azu, don't cut it. I thought it was the outro. It turned courses. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's that's not ideal. <laughs> that's not ideal. Okay, Azu, you can cut it now. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you.